this is something I've been hiding from you guys and I feel like I should come out and say it. There are a lot of things that I haven't told you all. We got so many comments and so many attention in that video. I felt like I had to address it. Hi family, welcome back to the vlog. There are a lot of things that I haven't told you all. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is about yesterday's video. I have seen so many comments. Y'all know that I usually go through the comments and answer to everybody, but that video got so many, so much attention and so many comments that I wasn't able to, still am not able to go back and comment to everybody. So I'm just going to address a few things and then we're going to move on to why we're really here. Okay. All right, so about that video, a lot of you were, um, I told you in the live before the video that Nadia's teacher told me she was going to be a star. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know if she was going to be the star of the show. I didn't know if she was going to be one of the stars of the show. You know how people say, oh, she's the star of that TV show, the star of this and that. I didn't know what any of that meant. I have been so busy working my butt off that my brain is not functioning. So I go to pick her up. Her teacher is like, okay, remember Nadia's going to be a star. And I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? That's all I needed to know. And she said, oh, just dress her up in all white or all black, but we prefer all black. So I'm like, okay. I thought that was like the theme of the outfit or whatever so we get to the school and she's an actual star so the play was about the birth of Jesus so they had a cute little Jesus a cute little Mary a cute little Joseph and then they had a whole bunch of angels and then they had the three wise men so Nadia was the actual star so she had her star outfit and everything we get to the show I am super super nervous about everything because we go to rehearsal and I realize she's the only star but all the other kids had like they they were in pair but she was the only one who was doing something by herself there are multiple classes and multiple times of days um when it comes to their school so her class had a few kids who like i said they were pairs so you had the three wise men they stood in the corner doing their thing there were a group of them right and then you had i think about six or seven angels they were in a in a group as well doing their thing and then you had mary and joseph they were a pair doing their thing and nadia was the only star so i got nervous i was like what if she starts to be nervous standing by herself what if she gets um stage fright what if she wants to be like the other kids and you know want to be an angel as well i got really nervous so we get to the the play itself we got front row seat because we paid a lot of money no <laughs> We got front row because we got there early. <laughs> there were a lot of different sections. So the first, it was every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, there was another class and their family. So every 30 minutes, right? So we came early. So they told us to come at 630. We got there at 631, but it was still early because Nadia's play didn't actually start till 7. So we were early. I guess the other parents knew that, but we didn't know. So technically we thought we were late, but we were actually early. So we get there and so we got front row seat and the whole time I'm excited. You guys saw the excitement in the video. That was my baby's first play, her first any group thing as far as I know. And it was so exciting to me and I didn't know what to think. And her dad was laughing at me. I mentioned in the car that I was so excited. I said, we were excited. He said, no, you're more excited than everybody else. And I was like, okay, whatever. Hi family! <laughs> She's really excited y'all. I'm excited. We're all excited. Oh my god! Oh, I'm excited. Okay, whatever. Go back and watch the video. He said that um, it was quick. It was a quick thing. He said it and I answered. I was like, whatever. But then we get to the play where front row seat, like I said, all the kids are coming out and he's been quiet the whole time. And then all of a sudden he sees Nadia and he freaks out. He's like, Nadia, Nadia, he got excited. <laughs> and so that confused Nadia. She left the group and came to us because she thought that her dad was actually calling her to come to us. So I'm like, okay, Mr. Playing it cool. I thought you were excited. So anyway, Nadia, Nadia, no, Nadi, come, 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 
so Nadia gets up there all of the the kids are in their spots and they're doing their thing and like I said the whole time I'm nervous I'm like oh my god what if she wants to you know be with her friends what if she's so nervous to be by herself but she did an amazing job she stayed in her spot never left she did all of the little dance moves and the the music and everything I'm getting a call um she did everything and I was so proud of her and the whole time she wanted to be an angel too because like I said all the little girls in her class were angels except for her she was she was handpicked to be a star you know for the show <laughs> So the whole time, I didn't realize that Nadia wanted to be an angel as well. The play was over. We went back to the, the classroom and she found an angel outfit, like a wing, and she put it on. And she was like, Mommy, I love being a star, but I want to be an angel too. And I was like, oh my God, I had tears in my eyes. And I was even more proud of her for the fact that she carried herself so well. She, you know, like I said, she stood by herself. She did the play and she stood as an angel by herself and never cried never fought to be an angel she held her composure until the end of the show or the end of the play and then she said to me that she wanted to be an angel too so we put the little angel wings on her and she was loving it and we went home and celebrated and thank you all so much for commenting good job on the video for nadia i asked for you guys to comment good job and a lot of you like i said we got so many comments so many attention in that video i felt like i had to address it so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much all right the main reason we're here today is the airbnb is up and running this is something i've been hiding from you guys and i feel like i should come out and say it it is december this is one of the busiest month of the year a lot of people are traveling to see family friends boyfriend girlfriend a lot of people are doing a lot of traveling this house i purchased back in the fall we renovated the house and i decided to turn it into an airbnb i started the series of decorating the house however i realized that this is if i'm gonna do an airbnb this is one of the best Best time to have it up and running so I took a break from decorating and cleaning and doing all of that stuff at the Airbnb to go to my real house to decorate but when I saw that I started getting a lot of hit because my friend who's helping me shout out to you Alfred I don't know if he wants me to say his name or wants to be um, a part of this <laughs> <laughs> he's a pretty private guy so him and his wife have been amazing this is a friend i went to nursing school with i was the class president he was actually the vice president of the class and we've just like stayed in touch here and there throughout the years and when he saw that he's into real estate as well so when he saw that i was you know doing rental properties and stuff he asked me if i've ever done airbnb um him and his wife are a big fan of mine as well with my you know content creation and stuff so he asked me if i've ever done it i said no he said well i do it and i think it's amazing i think you should try it so i was like you got to help me out and he's been an amazing help to me always there to you know answer my questions pick up my calls him and his wife like i said they've been amazing so we decided to, to list the property so i hurried up when you guys thought that i was only decorating the other house and getting it ready for christmas i was decorating this house too and getting getting it ready for the airbnb remember i told you all that i wanted to get it up in about a week I stayed with that plan and the Airbnb is fully decorated. All of the rooms have been set up. It's fully decorated. And we have our first guest today. We are booked through December. I am meeting with my cleaner. Today we have our first guest coming in. I have some stuff printed out that I can't show you all, but our first guest is coming today and I'm excited but nervous at the same time. So we're just gonna walk through, make sure that everything is perfect and pray for the best. My fingers are crossed. I'm praying, I'm meeting here with my cleaner so we can walk through the house and see what's going on to see and make sure that everything is perfect for the guests because reviews, 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 okay? Let me ring the doorbell, she's in there. <laughs> Look, we have a little festive wreath. Hello. Hey. I'm vlog. Oh, your eyes are pretty. Okay, are you wearing contacts? Yes, I am. That's cute. I was going to say I'm vlogging. Do you oh. mind being on camera? Sure. No? Okay. okay. Hi. Hi, little man. So I did print some stuff out. Do you want to say hi? Sure. Okay. Huh? You look so cute. Don't be nervous. You look cute. This is Miss Isha. This is my cleaner. This is the head cleaner. <laughs> She has some stuff going on here. She's already making labels. 
shampoo two in one. Oh, good job. Mm -hmm. Good job for doing that. Two in one shampoo for the bottle and um, no, conditioner, two in one and then shampoo. So yeah, we have that. We are just here to make sure that everything is perfect. Like literally perfect for the guest because um, she has a little cat. Let's see the cat. Hi, I guess the cat didn't want to stay at home. <laughs> Hi, hey, little kitty. Hi, hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I wanted to get Nadia a cat, but her dad said no. He said absolutely. She was actually going to bring the cat, and he said absolutely not. So, yeah, that didn't happen. We are booked through December. Through December, y'all. The whole month of December, we are booked. And our first guests, well, not the whole month, but right when, right when, when the... I can't talk right when the decor was done we got booked so from now to the rest of the month we're we're filled so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm so excited I did a series or I started the series I was gonna show you guys every single room what I put in every single room from the bed to the linen to the side table to the the limbs the uh, uh blankets and all of that I was gonna show you but girl I put so much money in this property and I need to start to get it back. It's so natural. I printed out some stuff. Let me show you. Um, it's just little house rules. Okay. And telling people where, uh, where things are, okay. like the garage door, mm -hmm. they'll have to open it from the inside. Okay. The front door, did you have any hard time? Mm -mm. Okay. It was pretty easy. Okay. The laundry room is downstairs. The pantry. Um, Ironing board where they can find it, hair dryer, flat iron, more towels, linens, cleaning supplies, and then the Wi Fi password. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got up early to go do some shopping. This key, I forgot to tell you, this okay. key is for that door. Okay. The, the supply door, so you okay. keep that. Okay. So when you're not, um, when I'm not here, mm -hmm. yeah, I had to go get more stuff. So I couldn't tell which one was the shampoo or the conditioner. So They're black both. Pepper, but I put everything else on theirs. Mm -hmm. So we have the black pepper so they can know. Um, and I cannot turn over because I cannot take space. So I just. Okay. And we have the salt, the black pepper, the. Um, oh, vinegar. That's yeah, nice. And then we have the vegetable oil. Okay. Yeah, they're both two in one. Come this one. Come. I wish you made two of these uh -huh. because they're both the same. Really? Yeah, they're both two in one shampoo. So shampoo two in one, okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We can just put this in eventually when I'm coming back and help forget. Yeah. So yeah, for next time. But yep, we got the labels on. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's see, Isha. Why is it crooked? And you know I do my oil, my hair oil. Uh -huh. So we put the label on. Oh, okay. And the first time I was teaching like my mom and uh -huh. my sister or uh -huh. my family to do it, uh -huh. I was so particular. Oh my God. Yeah, I was like, it has to be neat. It has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now they all get it. Okay, there you go. So, this one is good. This one's not bad. I'm so nervous. You should be excited. I'm nervous. I'll have to have like a guest. Thank you. You're gonna be happy too. Yeah. I feel like I wanna have a guest come in. Do the, <clears throat> excuse me, do the whole nine, like stay uh -huh. for a few days, uh -huh. use the shower, uh -huh. um, use the bathroom, uh -huh. the lay on the bed, uh -huh. just use everything uh -huh. and then leave a review. That uh -huh. way, Ooh, okay. yeah, that way I'll know if, cause they're, they're gonna leave feedbacks. Definitely. That way I know, okay, this was done right. That needs fixed, this, that, that, that. But right now it's like, I've done everything in my power to make it. Start on your first guest. I love the place. Especially <laughs> if you're at home, 
everything looks good. There you go. We have everything we need there. They have a great fridge and I'll recommend this to anybody. There you go. <laughs> okay, that works. So can you put one of this in that bathroom and I'll put this one in the other bathroom? Uh, is it? This right here. Or shampoo? They're both. They're two in one conditioner oh, and shampoo right. for hair. Yeah. That's why I said I, I wish you printed out two of those. Okay. Putting the shampoo in the bathroom for the guest. Um, yeah. I'll have to come up with a different system for that, but we started getting bookings and it happened so fast that. But all the rooms are done. The living room is done. Everything is done. Quick, 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 quick. I told y'all your girl's been working. I have not been playing. Everything is done. I'm gonna do a tour for you guys to show you the actual house and every single bedroom later. But it's December, people are traveling. <laughs> people are traveling and um, they are coming to see family and, huh? Oh yeah, and I've spent so much money on this place, I needed to start getting the money back. So I was like, let's list it. We listed it and started getting hits. And I was like, okay, let's finish furnishing this thing quick, quick, quick. It looks amazing. Y'all have already seen the kitchen. Um, yeah, I have two little waters here. That's a souvenir. I have a few other things like I've showed you before. But yeah, you've already seen the kitchen. It looks amazing in here and I'm just nervous because I want my first guest to come check the place out, see what's going on, use everything in the house like I said, and then give me feedbacks, let me know what I need to improve on. Um, let me show you the deck. The deck has a little seating area. Um, you can't see it, but yeah, there you go. It has a little seating area. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, the whole place is ready and I'm just excited. So the guests will be here in like two hours. Um, what At three. Three hours. Three hours, yeah. So they'll be here in three hours and I'm very, very nervous. Before I even started decorating, right? We did, it wasn't a fake page, but we listed it with no pictures. I just had one picture and people already, that, and that was in November. People started already trying to book it and they were like i really want to book it i'm coming in town um coming to see family coming to see friends but there's no pictures and we kept saying oh we'll have the pictures out we'll have the picture out but we had a lot of delays so we ended up losing the whole month of november so now we're in december and we already have bookings so anyway the secret was that the airbnb has been fully decorated it's been listed online and we have our first guest and we have a lot more guests after that but what i'm gonna do for you guys is when the first guest leaves i'm gonna do a house tour i'm gonna do an airbnb tour and show you all so i hope so if we love it how do you feel about it i i'm very critical <laughs> i'm critical of myself yeah i'm hard on myself so i think it's good but all of you guys have said it's pretty it is so I have to believe you guys, <laughs> but after the first guest, then I really believe everybody. You want to use extra towel? Towel. This is the master bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's towels in the linen's closet Where? or a linen closet in the hallway. Okay. Let me show you. Sweet. 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 Do you. Are you saying we should put it on the bed? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, there there are some in here. Mm. So maybe these two. Oh um, no, just to just to put on the bed. Just leave this design like that. Okay. And um, yeah, on the little note, I just put where they can find things. So yeah, there are blankets, blankets in here. There's a big blanket. There are more linens here. Um, it's folded, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> That's my version of folded. But yeah, it's, I gotta fold that. That looks bad. That looks really bad. But yeah, more linens in there. I have this little basket here. It's It has a cute blanket in it. And then 
that will be their linen basket and they can put i don't want to show you guys all the stuff yet until i do the tour but yeah <laughs> back it out of this door moving backwards <laughs> i can show you the kitchen all day because you've seen it oh okay let me show you the dining room it's so cute okay that's that's it that's it sneak peek that's it but what i did want to show you all is that there's another basket here with a blanket this is the blue room <laughs> blue accents in here but this is what i wanted to show you all so i have a list of things on a piece of paper that's what i was showing you earlier it tells you where to find things so every time a new guest comes i'm going to print that out and put it where they can find it until i get a laminated or like a book and laminate that stuff and keep it somewhere but even if i do that i'm still probably going to have to print it out here and there because sometimes it's going to get lost but anyway we have a pressing iron iron board so it tells you okay the ironing board is in the primary bedroom in the left closet Da, 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 da. just things like that and then in here I have a I have that on the list as well so this oh this I need to take I need to take that with me that's extra but see more linens for the primary bedroom I have a basket there and then I have a little yoga mat and I have some um, hangers there if they need it to hang their stuff and there's hangers in all the closet I'll show you this closet as well um, yeah, there's hangers there too. So this, just this room has a few hangers. Um, and then what else? What else? The garage. I talked about the garage. It has a keypad to enter. Um, every guest is going to get their own code. Oh, look at the, oh, I want to show you guys the, the towel design, but I'll show you without showing you the room. <laughs> I'll show you the design without showing you the room. Okay, so look at the design. Look how pretty she made that. How cute. <laughs> she did that in all the rooms. Um, so the primary room has more towel designed, of course, but um, but yeah. And this sign, this is gonna be the first thing you see when you walk in the house. It says, be our guest. Um, I wanted to put something else, but I thought this was really, really, really cute. So we left that there. But I think that is it. I gotta go check the other closet. Cause I just found that. That was leftover, um, I guess, decor. So that was leftover decor. I planned to take that home, but forgot. Um, I'm walking like this with the camera because like I said, I don't want you guys to say everything. I don't want you to say everything. <laughs> so this closet, more hangers, more linens, and we also have a linen closet. Let's see, more hangers. So they will have, and I have a cute little basket here. <laughs> I have a cute little basket here with some cuteness in there. Just little things that catches people's eyes. But this is, I've showed you this before, but that's the linen closet. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so we are ready to, I think we're ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> oh man. All right, I think that's that's it. Um, yeah, your girl is nervous. I don't know what to think, say, do. We're gonna do a final walkthrough and I'm gonna show you guys that. Um, we are going to check out everything. Make sure all of the T's and the, the I's and the dots are crossed. Whatever I just said. We're just going to make sure that it's ready for the first guest. I'm not going to know what I'm doing wrong. What I need to improve on. What I need to fix. What needs to stay. I'm not going to know any of that until we get this first guest who gives us an honest review. All right. So that's what I'm waiting for. And that's why I'm nervous. I'm excited that we have our first guest so they can enjoy this beautiful home that God has blessed me and helped me put together. But 
I don't know what I need to fix or improve on yet. So after the first guest, we're going to know that. And after that, I'm going to do a full, a fully furnished Airbnb tour for you guys and show you all every single room because I know you guys were excited to see. I have a theme in every room, as I said. Every room has a different color so that when you're flipping through the pictures on Airbnb, it doesn't it doesn't look like you're looking at the same room over and over you'll be able to know if you're in the twin room you'll be able to know if you're in the primary room you'll be able to know if you're in the the queen room you'll be able to know you're in different rooms of the house okay for those of you who are in the columbus ohio area this airbnb is in pickerington if you know anything about pickerington pickerington is one of the best neighborhoods in columbus it's safe the school district is one of the best it's a very rich neighborhood some parts of pickerington have million dollar multi-million dollar homes so this is a really great place so any travel nurses out there any families who are traveling to see other families anyone who you know recommend your girl mercy gono let them dm me or email me i got them cover i mean it's listed on the airbnb website but just so you can get your foot in the door you know know somebody that knows somebody you guys know me i know you so we know somebody that knows somebody i can get them in i'm leaving the house i'm so so nervous so so nervous the first guest is going to be here in about two hours i'm nervous but i'm praying and i'm hopeful and and I, I don't know how many times I've said I'm nervous in this video, but I am. I'm very nervous, but I know everything is going to be okay. Pray for me, you guys. Pray for the Airbnb. Pray that everything goes well. Comment the praying hand emoji. And if you're not um, able to, to comment an emoji, comment amen. Comment amen in the comments and also comment the praying hand emoji for the Airbnb. Yes. All right, family. So I think I got cut off. The phone died. I had to charge it and I had some errands to run. But that is it for today's video, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said, leave a praying hand emoji below um, to pray for the Airbnb, to pray for me. I'm really, really, really looking forward to see how this is going to turn out. Thank you all again so much for all of the love, the prayers, the support. I truly, truly appreciate you all. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.